Hello ladies and gentlemen, Ecology here, and welcome to World of Tanks with my spooky non-premium garage. And here we are with the FV4202 Premium. You might be saying, how did you get that Ecology? How did you get this premium vehicle? Well, basically, in this screenshot right here, You will be able to get the FE4202 for free if you already got the tank. Basically, if you played this tank when it was at tier 10 status, you get to basically keep the tank now, or they gave it for free. But let me say this again. This is only for American servers, so if you're watching this on the EU server, the South Asian server, the Russian server, this doesn't apply to you. This is only for American servers. So basically, Wargaming gave us back our FE4202 if you played some battles. Now, as you can see with my Centurion Action 10, which is over here. You stop. Statistics for this. I have 288 battles in my Centurion Action 10 which I don't because half of those battles I think I only played 10 battles in the Centurion Action 10 these battles so I played at least 280 battles in the FE4202 before it got changed so I am totally eligible to get the FE4202 which in my opinion I am quite sad that it is a tier 8 now but I am quite pleased because now it's my first crew, or premium tank, medium tanks, to crane my tier tank crew. So with that being said, let's go into a battle. Here we are with the FV4202P. Awesome. And we're on Stalingrad. Ruinsburg. Yeah, Stalingrad, Ruinsburg. This is Ruinsburg. Awesome. So basically, people are like, how'd you get the tank? And it's like, it's a free tank. And people are so confused. Like, how is this a free tank? How did you get it? And I'm typing, I'm typing, I'm typing. I want it. Well, basically, I explained it. So, by playing the tier 10. Like, it's kind of hard. I should have, like, copy and paste that message. Like, it would have just been easier. Yes. But I like this thing. Yes, it's kind of a bit slow, but it doesn't really matter. Like, eh. The slowness, I don't really find a problem with this tank. Yeah, it's a little sluggish, but I don't really have the problem with the sluggishness. It's something I'm used to while playing like the Centurion and the other British tanks, I guess. It's their slow sluggishness. Granted, I've been playing the Czechoslovakian vehicles, so every tank feels slower than them. So, so okay, there's this guy, and uh, I hit him. I don't know how that penetrated, but I hit him and it penetrated, so that's awesome. So that's my first point of damage. Now I'm like, wait, why is the cap circle in the middle of the map? Why is it down, or, well, why is it here, you know? Then I realized that this is not a random, or well, this is a random battle, but this is not a standard battle. This is a an, uh, encounter battle, which I haven't played encounter in a while. I recently turned on encounter and insult, assault battles for, well, entertainment reasons. Because I was getting bored with just standard battles, so more battles I get, the better... I can have fun. So there's a Ferdinand, there's a Tiger 2, shot the Tiger 2. I, always, I have to keep an eye on that Ferdinand, because that Ferdinand might be a, a, a big fat tank destroyer that eats my hit points up. Keeping an eye on that minimap, keeping an eye on enemy tanks. The AK-88 is moving. I'm not paying attention to the Ferdinand. I'm lit up. There's the Ferdinand. Now I back away, but I got hit by the Ferdinand. Which kind of sucks. 
wasn't paying attention there. Now, I feel like I need to move up. I need to do something. I can't just sit there at the corner just doing nothing. So, I'm going to help this IS-6. Maybe. So, I come around the corner. Zoom in. Looking at what tanks I can hit at. There's the, the side of a Super Pershing. There's also an OI tank back there, which I mistaked as the OHO, which was an amazing mistake, so I got very scared of that OI tank for no reason. Here's the Tiger 2, I'm shot the Tiger 2 again. So far, so good. A thousand damage done. That's nice. So... I pull back a little too far, I, I think, but I, I'm keeping an eye on that Ferdinand, because I don't want that Ferdinand to pull up behind us and flank as I shoot a shell into that OI and bounces. And there's a Super Pershing. I hate Super Pershings. But I forgot, this is a 20 pounder, so 20 pounders have good penetration. Granted, it's not as good as some other guns, but I can easily clip his upper commander's hatch because it's a super pershing and this is a 20 pounder i can go through places and i'm like come on tank destroyer don't pull out in front of me please thank you as i shoot again the oi is if i back up there oh wait there's an oi Shoot the OI, back up a little more using this tank and gun barrel to my advantage. As I get hit in the tracks, damage. I got hit by the OI. He is using the derp because my hit points did go down. I hate when the OI uses the derp or any of the Japanese super heavy tanks using derp. And I shoot right through the bottom of his front plate. Which I can totally do because this is a 20 pounder. Now I reverse and try to see what's going on, look where the Ferdinand is. I'm not going around that side. No, that's suicide. I'll go around this way, because this is not suicide. And there goes the Tiger. And now I can rush this Ferdinand. He's not pointing the right direction. Shooting back. Pull back a bit. Use this heavy tank as cover, as I'm like, hmm, can I shoot there? Can I shoot there? I can, and I will. As I get tracked, he's now, like, wondering how the fudge can I shoot him as I kill him. So that's three kills in my belt, 2,542 damage done. So good. This tank is fantastic. And let's go on to the next battle. Here we are on Pilsen, the new map that they added in this patch, and I'm with, again, the FV4202P. The P stands for Premium, not Porsche. Don't get that confused. Alright, so Pilsen, let's look at the matchmaking. There's Tier 9s, okay, that's not bad. Tier 8s, Tier 7s, no Tier 6s. That's pretty good matchmaking, I have to say. And here we go. Let's Battle starts. Awesome. Now, Pilsen's a relatively small-ish map. It's still pretty big. It's a thousand by... No, it's eight thousand... Eight hundred meters. Eight thousand meters. It's eight thousand meters. That means it's... It's a pretty... Decent-sized map. Now... I'm gonna go inside this warehouse where... Well, poke up at the entrance of this door. A lot of people don't realize that that door is breakable, so they get confused. Now, we see a, a Suicide T-34 go through the warehouse, which is fine by me. I track it after doing two shots into him already, as I want to get the tracking shots in, keep him immobilized as the Centurion 7-1 comes into my way and blocks my shell. Like, thanks Centurion, you're so helpful. As we 
the two FV-4202s exchanged shots. I got shot in, he got a shot in, even Steven. So I see a Black Prince behind me, so has the Centurion. As he refuses to let me turn, finally got unhooked, and now I chase down this Black Prince. Yay. Doo doo, doo doo doo, twenty millimeter, twenty pounder. So now I see the black prince. I don't see anyone else by the corner. I fire. He trades. Does only one hundred eighty-four damage, and he got murdered by the artillery piece, which is fantastic. Now I'm going to go this way because I don't see anything. Looks pretty fine. So I'm good. Going to see what's inside this factory. Hopefully it's not much. Oh. Uh, there's some derp guns. Oh, crap. I get nailed by a big derp gun from the Oni, which took a lot of hit points off. A lot of hit points. And I'm just like, really? That's not cool. But at least got one shot into that Oni as I'm begging for help from my teammates, which they're dying one by one, which isn't fun. I finish off that SU-152. I don't know what he was doing, but he was just sitting there begging to get killed. I'm guessing he was trying to aim at that A44 that's coming to flank, which is good. I like that the A44 is trying to flank. It makes me super happy because that OI or Oni, my bad, Oni is not paying attention as they see a Ferdinand. This is where I get a little antsy because it's a Ferdinand. And he's not coming through the warehouse, so he has to be coming around the corner. So is he going to keep going straight or is he going to come around the corner and try to put a shot at me. He's on fire. Enemy put a shot damage. in. He's not putting out the fire, so he's dead. Awesome. I was getting scared there. Now my scare is gone as a super Persian comes in to help with the IS-2. Which is good. Find a nice place to plug the shell in. So far, so good. I don't want to get hit by that Oni, so I don't really want to rush in there. There's also a Rymantal Borsig that I don't want to rush in there as well to help the friends, so. Oh, Borsig's gone. One problem solved. That Oni is really going to be a problem. So I wait to see, is he going to pull out around the corner, or is he going to keep backing up? No. Eh. No, okay. So, uh, oh, come on, building. There we go. This object is coming in for the kill, it looks like. I planned a shot in the turret, didn't get the kill, but I still got damage, which is good. I have one kill underneath my belt. Let's see, there's an IS tank, fire shell in for 241 damage. Nice. Now there is an autoloader. Come on, come on, punk a shell in. Yes, and I finished it. Two kills. Two kills underneath my belt. Now can I get this autoloader thingy-majigger? Enemy armor is oh, damaged. One shot in. Can I get him? It says green. It says green. Can I? No. Bounced. There are two artillery pieces, so can I get an artillery piece? No. The autoloader is going to die soon. There goes the last artillery piece. And no, there goes the autoloader. That's not bad. Two kills. 3,036 damage done. Best game I have ever had. This thing makes a lot of credits if you do good, as you can see in the screenshots after this. So I'll see you in the garage. And here we are back in the spooky garage. That's what I'm going to call this garage. The standard non-premium garage is now the spooky garage because it's spooky. Um, let's also get some music going. I think it's working. If not, I didn't click right. Not bad. But let's see. Let's. Um, my opinion about this thing, I like it. Am I upset that it's removed from tier 10? Yes. I would love this thing to be an alternate tier 10. Basically, keep the Centurion Action 10 where it is, but branch off from the Centurion, the FV-4202. Simple problem solved. Now, let's go over some statistics of this beautiful FV-4202. It has 1,400 hit points, which is okay for a tier 8, I guess. It weighs 
41.89 tons, which is a lot. Has 510 horsepower, which isn't really good, but... Eh. I don't have a problem with it. Top speed is 35, which is, I think, a nerf by 10% from the tier... Or, 5%? something like that it used to bend 40 percent or 40 kilometers top speed for the tier 10 so they nerfed it by five so it's 35 kilometers i think um traverse speed is 40 degrees a second which is all right uh hull armor is 50 in the front which is garbaggio compared to the tier 10 the tier 10 had i think 170 millimeters 71 millimeters of front armor now it's down to 50, which in my opinion really sucks because it can't bounce much things, but it's not just 50 because look at that slope. That's a very big slope. So effectively, if you shoot here, it's around, I'd say 180, maybe more or less, depending on the angle it's looking at, which is okay. So you have 180, less or more armor in the front. The hull arm or the side armor is 50, which is I think the same on the tier 10. It was I'm not sure, um, and 31 in the side or rear, like the tier 10, I think. Um, let's see, turret armor is 170. I was amazed. Like, oh my gosh, the turret armor is fantastic on this thing. Very bouncy, very good. I like the turret. Turret's fantastic. Frontly, side 90. Nah, it could do better, but it does have these boxes as space armor, I think. And the rear is 90, so it's all round. I like the turret. I like the turret a lot. Um, this gun has 10 degrees of gun depression, which is fantastic. So you can poke over that ridge line and shoot, boom. And it has 20 degrees of elevation, which is nice. Um, standard shell damage is 173 for through 288, which is all right. Um, standard shell penetration is 170 through 283, which is fantastic. This 20 pounder is amazing. Like, I forgot how good the 20 pounder gun is. Like, when I played the Centurion 1, I loved the 20 pounder. The 20 pounder was fantastic gun on it. Its rate of fire is 7.5, which is kind of crap. Like, I expected the 20 mil to reload fast. And have good accuracy. The aim time isn't really that good on this gun either, which is kind of sucky. But that's why you must have a gun lane drive, a gun rammer, and I will get fence. I will get fence, but I got to save some monies, I guess. Even though I do have enough money to purchase it. But I'm trying to grind money for a tier 10. So I'll get it as soon as I purchase my tier 10. Tier 10s come first. Priorities. Uh, let's see. It's... Gun accuracy is 6.90 seconds. Uh, oh, actual reload time. My bad. My reload time with Gun Rammer with crew 100%. I will get Brothers in Arms next skill. So my actual reload time is 6.90, which is pretty good. Which is pretty good, I have to say. Nice, decent rate of fire, I guess. Turret Traverse is 36 degrees a second. Max view range right now is 402. Or... View range is 390. What I what it actually is right now because of my crew has 402. Signal range stock I think is 750. Right now my crew is better than that, so it's 782. So that's pretty good. Like I said, I like this tank. I'm kind of upset that it's not a tier 10 anymore, but at least I got it back for free. I am sorry for those people on the European server and the Russian server that didn't get this tank for free if you already played a battle in it war gaming has something special for americans i don't know um yeah so i can't complain about it boom ha i like this thing it's pretty nice pretty nice indeed nice so that's it for this video Thank you so much for watching, and remember to clicky click the like button and to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope you like this video, and like I say, tell me in the comment section what you think about the FE4202. Do you like it? Do you think it's crap? Do you hate Wargaming because they didn't give it for to you for free because you are on another server? Tell me what you think about it, or not, but I'm curious. So, that's it. See you guys. Have a good day or night. 
Have fun on the battlefield. And shoot something with a tank in a game. Not in real life. That'd suck. But yeah. Bye-bye. See us. Have a good day. Bye.